This video will demonstrate how to create map boundaries not included in the standard boundary sets in CodeApp. To do this, you will need a GeoJSON file for the boundaries you are interested in. To illustrate, here is a dataset with the names and populations of the provinces and territories in Canada. To create a map from this dataset, I will need to first import a GeoJSON file with boundary info for the provinces and territories. I found this GeoJSON file by searching the web for Canadian provinces GeoJSON. To add it to my CodeApp document, I can simply drag the link to the GeoJSON file into CodeApp. I also could have done this by using the import function from the main menu in CodeApp. And here I could have imported the GeoJSON file from either the URL to the file or from a local directory on my computer, or I could just simply drag the file from my computer into CodeApp. Now, if I try to drag the population from my original table onto the map of Canada, you will see that nothing happens. Why? Well, note that there are two tables in CodeApp now, one with my original population data on the left, and another with the geographic data I imported from the GeoJSON file on the right. In order to show the population data on the map, I will need to join these two tables together. You can join two tables in CodeApp on an attribute with values shared by both tables. In the table on the right, I have the name attribute, which contains identical information to the English province and territory names attribute in the table on the left. So I can join these two tables together on these two attributes. To do so, I will drag the province and territory name attribute from the table on the left and drop it on the name attribute in the table on the right. Note that it is best to join by taking an attribute from the original table and dropping it on an attribute in the new table created from the GeoJSON file as this can help avoid some issues with the maps that you create later on. Now, we can see that the information from the original table, including the population of each province and territory, as well as their French names, have been added to the new table with the data imported from the GeoJSON file. Note that the attributes that have been added from the original table are shaded in yellow in this table. Such shading indicates these are attributes that are linked to or calculated from the other table. Because there are attributes in this new table that are linked to the original table, we should not delete the original table, but we can close the original table to get it out of the way. Now, I can drag the population attribute from the table to the map and see the provinces and territories become color-coded by their population size.